So what this is, is actually, it's called an attenuated total reflectance Fourier transform infrared spectrophotometer, or just a FTIR for short. And what we're looking at here is really trying to identify the organic materials present in the photograph. So anything from the sizing in the paper, um, the gelatin binder or any other binder that was used to create the image, or any varnishes or coatings that were applied to the photograph after it was made. And that's what we're going to do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the image face down on a little diamond window that's on top of the instrument. In this technique, we do need contact between the object and the diamond window, but it's really light contact up to just seven pounds per square inch. And once we have that, we'll start our analysis. And you can quickly see the spectrum of your sample here. Here, we're actually looking for chemicals, not individual elements. The instrument actually doesn't come already capable of doing this. This was a long time in the making and a building up of a library of photographic materials that created this large, now up to 7,000 photograph database that it searches each result against. This is, in fact, a glossy collodion photograph.